Welcome everyone, today I'll be reviewing the EarFun Air True Wireless Earbuds. This is my first pair of EarFun earbuds, but I've owned multiple stem style earbuds recently and I've reviewed them. I paid $59 for these earbuds, the same price that I paid for the MPOW X3 and the Boltone BT BH023, except these EarFun don't have any ANC or ambient mode. On this video, I'm gonna go over the EarFun Air stats, their sound quality, their microphone quality, the latency, and my impression of whether they are worth their $59 price. Let's get started. So let's start with some of the specs. The case, the case is about the same size as the MPOW X3. It'll fit in your fifth pocket of your jeans, the little pocket, but it will definitely bulge out a little bit. Now, that case charges via USB-C cable or wireless, Plus it supports a really efficient rapid charge with just 10 minutes yielding two hours of playtime, which is pretty impressive. The buds themselves will last seven hours per charge and a total of about 35 hours with the case. These buds are easy to put into your ears, the stem is reasonably short and they come with four sets of different size tips to help you get a great seal and fit. For me, these always sealed in my ears. No matter how hard I try to reduce that seal, they stay sealed. But they don't really insert into your ear canal, only into your outer ear, so they're really pretty comfortable. Now, with that constant seal does come some occlusion for both running and I'd say for when you're talking on phone calls. You'll always be aware that you're wearing these earbuds. Now, they don't have ANC or ambient mode, unlike the other buds that I obviously compare them with, the MPOW X3 and the Boltum BTH, BTBH023, but they do have AAC for high definition audio, and I found that with AAC on, these are binge worthy of both YouTube and Netflix videos. Now, while you're watching videos, it works out fine in my opinion, um, even though here's the measured latency. Now, this is really an unofficial measurement. You know, it's useful, I think, for comparing other buds that I've measured. At best, it's not like, you know, super duper accurate. Okay, the EarFun Air have four microphones, two on each bud, that are supposed to reduce background noise. Now, I've used these for several days, taking many work phone calls, some lasting like over a half an hour or more, and they were all acceptable quality, nobody complained. But here is my mic series test of the outside microphones with the EarFun Air. This is a simultaneous recording of the EarFun Air, true wireless earbuds, simultaneous recording on my Muvo uh, shotgun mic along with the EarFun Airs for noise canceling mics. There's two on each bud and they do uh, noise canceling. This is a simultaneous recording of the EarFun Air, true wireless earbuds. Simultaneous recording on my Muvo uh, shotgun mic along with the EarFun Airs for noise canceling mics. There's two on each bud and they do uh, noise canceling. They're not CBC-8 or anything, but there is some kind of a noise cancellation going on with these mics. So I'm excited to see how that will turn out. Now, I've been into the stem style, but you know, if you watch my channel, you know I love the MPOW X3, and I also really like the Boltum BTBH023, even though I didn't like those nearly as much as the MPOW X3. So I was excited to get these EarFun Airs and try them out. And like, one of the first things I noticed about the EarFun Airs is, I mean, I am barely, barely putting them into my ears, and I'm getting a ton of noise isolation. Just hearing my own voice echo inside my head while I talk makes it hard for me to ice, uh, just figure out how loud I'm talking. And, and actually, when I run, I get a ton of, like, every time I step, boom, you know, boom, I get this, what I call occlusion when I run, because I just hear an echo every time one of my footsteps hits the ground in the mics, um, in the earbuds. Now, I don't know if you don't have true wireless earbuds, you might be thinking, what the heck is so I'm talking about here? But Listen, when you go out and you run, every step you take in a wireless earbud, the more that they uh, provide passive isolation, the more it kind of echoes through your body and gets slugged up inside your head. It can't escape out your ears, and you hear it inside your head. So it becomes like this really uncomfortable, annoying, extra sound that you hear inside your head. And it blocks out the music that you're trying to listen to, so you have to listen to your music louder the more that you have that occlusion. There goes the Toyota RAV4. I mean, a bunch of cars have passed by, so this is a fantastic outdoor test. I apologize if I'm rambling, but, you know, that's part of my personality. I'm going to give you a little bit of, like, background information on these buds. If you, uh, if you, <laughs> hopefully if you don't like that stuff, let's just call it stuff, you skipped it. And uh, we move forward on to the rest of the stats, and this was the outdoor microphone test series conclusion. 
The Earfun Air's touch controls work really well. The single tap does absolutely nothing, however. So between double tap, triple tap, long press, you can control play, pause, you can control volume, you can activate the Google Assistant, and you can skip to the next song, but you can't go backwards a song via a button touch. That said, those touch controls work really accurate even when running. Now, one of the other killer features of these buds is that they have in-ear detection, which means they're supposed to automatically play or pause when you take them out of your ear or put them back into your ear. But I found that this feature was not very reliable and certainly not one that I would pay money for or buy these buds for. The Earfun Air's Bluetooth 5 range for me measured at about 100 feet before clipping out, which is really, really solid. The Earfun Air will also work in mono mode, either bud, unlike both the MPOW X3 and the Boltune, which both are either left or right single, but I think one is left and the other is right. And next, for you workout junkies or runners like me, these Earfun Air have an IPX7 rating, so they are quite ready for your sweaty hard workouts. Okay, now on to the all-important sound quality. I really wanted to introduce a new song to talk about sound quality with the Earfun Airs, but after listening to them for a while, I felt I really needed to stick with Fifi by Nicki Minaj and I Came for the Low by Zoo and Party with Ray, just to give a good description of what their limitations are. And let me keep this really simple. These, these reproduce a, a sound stage, a, like a small room sound stage, but it has good placement. You can definitely hear the sound of where the instruments are coming from, different sounds and vocals are within the stage. The bass is really punchy and deep, but that bass sometimes overshadows the mids and the highs. And it's not really that the bass is overboosted. It's more that the mids and highs should provide more detail and just be better balanced with the size of the bass in these buds. But listen, if you're new to true wireless earbuds and you aren't comparing these back to back with a bunch of other buds like I do, you will like the sound of these buds. You will be satisfied with their sound. Now, let's talk about what could be better with the Earfun Air. They don't have ANC or ambient mode, and that really should be added at this price point of $59 compared to that competition that I mentioned. The highs and the mids should have better balance along with that bass. They really shouldn't be overpowered by the bass ever in these earbuds. And that in-ear detection should be infallible. Now, what I recommend for these buds is that I've spent you know, initially I was comparing them with other buds, but once I started spending solo time with the Earfun Air, I really enjoyed them from a sound quality perspective. The controls work well, the mics seem to work well. They should be good for listening to music, taking calls, and I'm guessing commuting on public transportation. I'm guessing. Hey, but uh, I would only buy them if they were on sale for less than the MPOW X3, unless having independent left and right mono mode was really high on your priority list. So that's my review of the Earfun Air. Thanks for watching and click that subscribe button. Also, let me know what you think of the Earfun Air in the comments. Stay safe everyone. Sozen out.